So let us talk about link budget. As you see, this is a transmitter. This is the receiver. Now, when the transmitter transmit and receiver receives the out of what being sent by the transmitter, this is the margin. So in a wireless communication system, the link margin, which is measured in dB, is a difference between the receiver sensitivity, that is the received power, at which the receiver will stop working, and the actual power uh, received power. So actual power received and the receiver sensitivity, the difference is the link margin. For example, a 15 dB link margin means that the system could tolerate an additional 15 dB of attenuation between the uh, transmitter and the receiver but it would still just barely work. So it is a, it is typical to design a system with at least few dB of link margin, this number, whatever the number is, this is just an example, to allow for attenuation that is not modeled elsewhere. So a system with a negative link margin uh, would mean that the system is actually insufficient to transfer data. Usually this means a better uh, receiver is needed with improved sensitivity. So when designing is complete, that is end-to-end -end radio communication system, it is necessary to calculate what is termed as link budget. The link budget enables factors such as required antenna gain levels, radio transmitter power levels, and receiver sensitivity figures to be determined. So by assessing the link budget, it is possible to determine the system so that it meets requirements and performs correctly without being over-designed at extra cost. So it is crucial that the required signal levels are maintained to ensure that the received signal levels are sufficiently high above the noise level to ensure that signal to noise levels or the bit error rates are within the requirement limits. However, large antennas, high transmitter power levels that required uh, add considerably to the cost. So it is necessary to balance these to minimize the cost of the system while still maintaining the performance. So what is uh, link budget as we have just discussed most of the thing we have covered. As the name implies a link budget is an accounting of all the gains and losses in the transmission system. In essence the link budget will take the form of this equation receive power in dB will, equal, will be equal to the transmit power plus all the gains receiver and antenna, uh, transmitter uh, antenna gains and subtracted by the losses where the losses may vary with time that is uh, example for example you have fading and the allowance must be made within the link budget for this often the worst case may be taken or alternatively an acceptance of periods of increase bit error rate for digital signals or degraded signal to noise ratio for analog system Link budget equation. In order to devise a link budget equation, it is always necessary to investigate all the areas where gains and losses may occur between the transmitter and the receiver. Although guidelines and suggestions can be made regarding the possible areas for losses and gains, each link has to be analyzed on its own merits. A typical link budget equation for radio communication system may look like this. This is received power. This is the transmitted output power. This is transmitted antenna gain. This is a receiver antenna gain. And the subtraction is, this is transmitter, feeder and associated losses. And this is uh, free space uh, loss or path loss. These are the miscellaneous losses like fading margin, polarization, mismatch, uh, and various other losses. And LRX is the receiver feeder and associated losses. For the sake of showing losses in the link budget equation, this minus actual loss figures, we take the modulus of these. This is also an example of RF link budget. We have uh, what we, you know, here, this PRX which is received power. So this is what is received is equal to what is being sent plus the gains minus the losses. The so losses can be this, um, you know, Path loss can be, uh, in a way, can be computed by this, PT by PR, that is, uh, this is the relationship, and where lambda is equal to C by F, uh, the budget link equation, the path, lo the path loss is proportional to the operational frequency, F squared, and um, this is, uh, for n equal to 2, is the free space loss exponent, 
This vary from 1 to 6 depending upon the environment. The antenna length is inversely proportional to the operation frequency. This is very important. Now we have antenna gain and link budget. So the basic link uh, budget equation where no level of antenna gain are included assumes that the power spread out equally in all directions. In other words, the antenna is isotropic, that is radiating equally in all directions. This assumption is good for theoretical calculations, but in reality, all antennas radiate more in some directions than others. So in addition to this, it is often necessary to use antennas with gain to enable interference from other directions to be reduced at the receiver and at the transmitter to focus the available uh, transmitted power in the required direction. So the gain figures relative to an isotropic uh, source are quoted as dBi, I for isotropic and dB related to an isotropic uh, source. We can also have dipole, for that we write dBd. Now there is multi-path propagation also for true free space propagation such, um, such as that are encountered for a satellite. There will be no noticeable reflection and there will be uh, only one major path. However, for terrestrial system, the signal may reach to the receiver by a number of different paths. That is, uh, maybe after reflection, they, they will occur as the result of objects around the path like building trees, objects, you know, the office and home can all cause reflections that will result in signal variations. So this multi-path propagation will cause variation of signal strength when compared to the that calculated from the free space path loss. So if the signals arrive in phase with the direct signal, then the reflected signals will tend to reinforce the direct signal. And if they are out of phase, then they will tend to cancel the signal. And if either the transmitter or receiver moves, then the signal strength will be seen to vary as the relative strength and phases of different signal change. So in order to allow for this link budget, a link margin is added to the equation for this multipath also. So link budget calculations are an essential step in the design of radio communication system. A link budget calculation enables the loss and gains to be seen and devising a link budget enables the apportionment of losses, gains and power levels to be made. Changes need to be made to enable this uh, radio communication system to meet its operational requirement. Only by performing this link budget analysis, this is possible. So these are the example or snapshot of some softwares, how we compute the link budget. This is a link budget. This is also a link budget. We compute these are all values from the transmitter, from the receiver. Uh, these are the, you know, interfering things fading and indoor loss, environment loss, performance gains. So ultimately we compute the link margin. In this case also microwave, the same stuff is given. We have absorption, the attenuation is computed, the reliability factors are also taken into account and finally the link budget has been computed or estimated. So thank you so much. This was a basic idea about link margin or link budget. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.